Hey, it's Mike from Mag Plus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do one of the coolest things that's now available in version 2 of the Mag Plus app, and that's create a custom table of contents or a navigation menu that your users can access from within the app. So there's a couple of different ways to do this, but the quickest is for users to go click in the upper left-hand corner where that little home icon was appearing when they turned the page, and that will automatically drop down this window containing the table of contents or the navigation menu you've designed. They can also long press on the screen just to bring up the navigation menu and then tap TOC, which is what we're seeing here. Now there's another kind of basic table of contents that you can use within the app instead of or in addition to the designed one, and that's under this bookmarks folder where the names that you've set in the plugin as the article ID are what show up. It's also where pages that the user bookmarks will show up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a custom TOC. Now again, you can change the names and the icons of those menu choices that appear within the app from within your Publishing Plus interface. So now what we're looking at is the actual table of contents template that comes free with the Mag Plus system when you download the production tools. This sets you up to do a sort of maximum size table of contents that'll fit on the screen whether you're in horizontal or vertical mode so it doesn't extend into that scrubber bar too far down. Now you can make this table of contents any size that you want and the way that you do that is out here in the production tool. Once you've exported the page, which I'll show you later, you select it and go up to this little width and height menu choices and if it's just set at zero it will default to that maximum size but if you want it to be something else more specific you just enter those values in there make sure they match what you've done in the InDesign template. Now to build a table of contents what I've done for this example is just take the table of contents page that Popular Science typically includes as part of their issue so this is a page people come upon and copied all the elements and then pasted them onto that table of contents template. And I've put all that content onto the A layer. Now you could also use the B layer so things would move in sort of screen size chunks, but the A layer will give you a nice free flowing content the way we were showing in the sim. Now to add the links so that people can tap a story and then go directly to it, you just use the standard linking behavior. So I'm going to draw a box over this area that I want to be the hot spot. I'm going to set its object type as block. That's kind of a basic standard object type within Mag+. Plus. And then I'm just going to click the Add Link button. And you'll see what happens there is it automatically draws a box on this clickable areas layer. That's literally your hotspot. You can resize it, move it anywhere you want. Under the type, I'm going to choose Jump Link. That's to go to another vertical or anywhere else within the system. And what's cool is if I point at this issue folder. Now, this is where I've exported all my other pages in this issue to. So those verticals are all now going to show up in this little verticals pull-down menu, which just makes it easy for me to pick the one that I want to go to. And the name that's showing up there is what I've written in the article name, so it's easy to identify the page I want. So there's the one that's for this link. Now when I'm all done with this, what I do is click the export button. That's just like exporting a page. It's going to trigger Photoshop to do all kinds of different conversions and down resings and really prepare that page to be included in the MIB. Then when you go out into your production tool, You'll see that page will appear in the clipboard section. What you'll do is drag it into this other objects area, not over into the content section. That's where the pages that actually show up in the issue appear. You want this to be a special case, show up in that menu, so drag it into that other objects. And then it'll appear like it does here. And you'll see now when I scroll up, I click on where I made that link, I jump immediately to that page. And that's how you create a custom table of contents for your navigation menu.